G'day Magpie fans, it's Jonathan Marsh here with this week's episode of the Black and White Show. This week I've got two questions from our teammates. It is, if you were stuck on a desert island, what is the one item you'd want to bring with you? And second of all, if you are unfortunately stuck with a Collingwood player, who would you least want it to be? <laughs> it's a really interesting question, Jonathan. Um, I think, uh, can I bring a person? Yeah, an item, if you want to classify someone as an item. I get really lonely, so as long as I have someone just to cuddle and hold me when it gets cold at night, that's all I really need. Do you have a designated cuddler? Um, me and Taylor Adams have been known to cuddle from time to time on those long, cold, wintry nights. So if I could bring him along, I'd be sweet. Um, probably misses. And why is that? Because she's, uh, she's everything I, am, uh, I ever need, mate. <laughs> Does everything for me. Gives me good guidance, wisdom, good looking. Lovely, lovely. I'm gonna steal Alan Tuvey's answer and say a helicopter. Okay, there's no fuel or anything, so you just have the helicopter, you can't get off the island. You got a sick ass toy then. That's a <laughs> sick I'm, toy. Ah, uh, fishing rod. A fishing rod, that is that is smart. And you're not known for your smart answers, are you, Betty? Oh, I'm, I'm just, put me on an island, I'll outlive anyone. You what, sorry? I'll outlive anyone on an island. <laughs> <laughs> I've told this to my friends many times. Put me or anyone else on an island, I'll win. Lovely, okay. The tribe has spoken. That's a very good question. Yeah. I'd probably have to take some some water. Just uh, some water. What happens when that water runs out? Uh, actually, I'll change that. I'll probably take a blanket. That's warm. good. No one said that, actually. Yeah, yeah nice. Keep warm at night. Absolutely. What would you do for shelter? Um, so you want to... Oh, yeah, there, no, there's, there's there's some trees and stuff. You can always use your blanket as shelter. This is true. Um, yeah, just find find some trees. Um, that'll give you probably some shelter as well. Yeah, just all about the shelter. All about the shelter. Yeah. The one item I'd bring, Jonathan, would have to be my dog Nelson, the pug, just for a bit of entertainment. And if you can't fish or get food, <laughs> he's the first on the fire, surely. No, no, no. We'd, we'd never put Nelson on the fire. He's just such a warm heart, you know? What if he turned on you and ate you? Because yeah, he's, he's on the island as well. <laughs> then we'll throw down. Yeah? Then we'll throw down. Who'd win? Probably Nelson. He's, he's pretty rough. Probably <laughs> he Nelson. He gets rough. There's <laughs> <laughs> so many to choose from. Um, Give us yeah. in top three, if you want. Um, well, you. I lived with you and it wasn't great. Faz, because... Everything's about Faz. He's just, he's just, just annoying. He's just non-stop. Um, who else? Can I just stop you there? Why not me? Why? Why? I'm sorry. Why me? It's because you're grumpy. <laughs> you're grumpy. Yeah. I don't like grumpy people. And when you get hungry, stop you get grumpy. And I'm, I imagine there's not a plethora, a plethora of food on a dessert. Yeah. Because you're perfect. We'll just leave you there because that's not cool. Well, if I could go by myself, if I could go by myself. I'd just go by myself. No, because there's, there's got to be someone else there, so that's, that's the question. I'd, I'd just, I'd get rid of them, like, ASAP, you know. So you'd kill them? No, I'd just get rid of them. Get, get rid <laughs> Okay, thanks mate. Timber him head. And why's that? Because he gives you nothing? He's on, yeah, he's the locker next door to me. We've had probably two chats in the six months that um, we've been, had the lockers next to each other. Gives you nothing and... He's the type of guy that you're on a desert island together and he'll just like make like food for himself and just like not even, wouldn't even just... Or like, or make his own hut and just stay yeah. away from, he'd be on the other, he'd divide the he, island exactly and say that's right. yours, this is mine. And he'd just be like, you could be, you know, getting eaten by like termites and he'd just, just chill, he'd just, <laughs> he'd just <laughs> let you chill there, <laughs> like, he wouldn't help you out. <laughs> um, probably Reedy. And, and why is that? Because I've heard someone else say Reedy as yeah. well. Oh, I'm only saying that because whenever any of the boys get asked who they least like to room with on the interstate trips, all I ever hear is Reedy. So I'm not I'm, I'm not sure why, but uh, I'm just going to go with him. You just come with a general trend, are you? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, just be a sheep with that. Yeah. Billy Elliot, number one, he's annoying. Number two, he can't fish to save himself. Can't fish? No. no he, I thought he could fish. No, no, he talks it up. No good. Talks it up. Same with Blair in your surfing? Yeah, yeah. Shocker. Oh, probably Fuzzy. Just do me head in. Talking about himself the whole time. and uh, He's just uh, a bit too energetic for me, I reckon. Yeah, common, common theme among the boys, I imagine. Yeah, I'd be sitting back, relaxing, enjoying the sun, I think, if it's a, if it's a tropical island. 
Joanne, I think he'd disturb that a lot. Especially with you and your missus, it'd be quite romantic, and then you don't want Fazzy yeah, exactly. talk about Fazzy the whole time. He'd probably try and pick up me, missus. Yeah, honest. this is true. This is true. Uh, well, that's easy. Jack Crisp. And why is that? Because I just don't want to look at his tattoos. <laughs> that, that's brutal. <laughs> that's another week of the Black and White Show. Make sure you get down to the G this Saturday to support us against the Ds. Go Bison.